This is the puzzle, so it's our duty to solve the puzzle. The other, the other reason is that this kind of a quantum gravity effect. By learning this, studying this phenomenon, we may know something about quantum gravity. I want to explain two words in my title. The first one is black hole. I guess most of you know this, but uh, I want to show the picture, a cool picture. Uh, black hole is kind of a solution of uh, generative, generative, general relativity. Black hole is a solution of general relativity. Uh, general relativity is, both, uh, uh, both, is a theory both for space time and the gravity. Space time is not uh, static or flat. Actually, space time can have any crazy behaviors. It can have any, a lot of uh, crazy behaviors, like the picture so. And uh, black hole is the ultimate space time voltage. The uh, question is that how to describe the voltage in space time. Answer will be the geometry. To describe the geometry, we use the matrix. Uh, these are two pictures. I really like the first one. This is how I understand the flight space time. You have a bunch of rulers and clocks. You can see it's, it's, it's more like a coordinate, but uh, for me, it's my picture for flight space time. <laughs> the second one, I don't find a better picture for the black hole space time, but uh, usually, it's how other people saw it. Um, you can see the space time curve. The other word is entropy. And now it's in this department, and I need to be very careful about this word. <laughs> <laughs> so, which entropy I'm talking about? It's a, it's a thermal entropy. It's entropy due to the lack of detailed knowledge of system. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Example is like uh, the molecules. We have a box of molecules. To describe the state of the molecules, we need the whole data from the phase space. And the, but up, but the, after cross graining we can use the thermodynamics to describe the same system, the gas. In that system, actually, we can, we, can, uh, we can only use two parameters, the volume pressure or the volume temperature. And the entropy is a function of the two parameters. And the for entropy of black holes, we expect the story will be the same. Uh, like the Lunar said, for black hole, we only have three parameters, the charge, the momentum, and the mass. But uh, we guess, it's a conjecture, we guess there are some ensembles of the black hole, ensemble of the microstate of black hole. Uh, when you look very far away, uh, same thing, you do the close graining, you'll find this ensemble of these ensemble microstates give the black hole, the picture of black hole. And uh, for different quantum graphic theory, they have different conjecture for what the ensemble are. In string theory, uh, we guess it's a conjecture called the fuzzy ball conjecture. We guess these ensembles are smooth, presently a solution of supergravity. Okay. Uh, I just, it's a glimpse of string theory. Uh, string theory is a quantum gravity theory. In classical limit, it's reduced to supergravity. You can think of supergravity is a gravity theory coupled with some Higgs field. And in this theory, the content is the string and the difference. They are kind of the Lego. If you know how to play with these string and difference, you can construct anything you want. And uh, to have a consistent quantum string theory, we need extra dimensions. Uh, this is kind of the outline of this possible uh, program. I will go to detail for each of them. Uh, so Luni has said uh, how to count the space of black hole, and uh, later we <laughs> construct a solution of supergravity to solve what the micro states are. Now, the current word is something called superstrata. It's, uh, some, I was like, uh, it's a solution of, of supergravity. Okay, here, oh, this is one remark. Here, we have only focused on the PPX black hole for technical reason. You can think of PPX black hole as a black hole in a thermal equilibrium. Okay. Oh, uh, have, have seen this picture? But there's one problem with this picture. I think uh, Ken has said that. The microstates will get, will get uh, swallowed by the horizon. When we increase the gravity, the horizon will swallow, will uh, wash away all the microstates. 
my first day. So even though with, with this argument we don't know what the micro geometries are. So to find the micro geometry, we really need to solve the equation of super gravity to find that solution. And uh, okay, with, just uh, as I said, we can use deep brain or string to build up something. You don't know how to play with that. Okay, we we start at the background with deep brains. We can petrify five dimensions of the space time to a four dimensional donut and a circle. And then we grab the deep one and deep five brain on this on this petrified space time. Space on this space. On this petrified space. Then given this background, we can solve the equation of supergravity. Then we find uh, there are two, there are one, this this so-called uh, D1 D5 geometry. If you solve the solution, the solution, the so-called D1 D5 geometry. You can understand the geometry in two different pictures. One is the kind of, you can think the micro, micro picture of the solution is the oscillating strings. The other picture is called so-called uh, super tubes. This is a picture. And both of the two solutions are characterized by <coughs> one closed curve in the space. This closed curve is so-called the uh, profile of the solution. And it's a, it's a function of one variable. It's called the state mode. But uh, again, there's a problem there. For two charged black holes, they don't have a microscopic horizon. The solution doesn't describe the solution don't describe the black hole we, we see in the GR. Oh, sorry. To have the to, ha to have a microscopic horizon, we may need to introduce another charge. Here we introduce the momentum charge. Then adding momentum to, to the system to get this D1, D5, P geometry. And uh, again, we need to solve the equation to find a solution. This is there are two techniques right now. The first one is called so-called so spectral flow. It's more like the current situation, but uh, not exactly. The other one, Benna and Warner, they derived the system equation, so BPS equation for this geometry satisfied. So if you can solve the equation, you have a solution. Even though you solve the equation, you find a solution, there's still a problem. The solution don't have the solution has too many symmetries. So the number of the solution is limited. And uh, it's not enough to come to the black hole. To have enough solution, we need to add more excitation or more, add more modification to this geometry. Then one uh, planar and monar conjecture in 60 dimensions. In 60, in six dimensional space, there's another object, so called uh, super spread. The idea is that we shake, we shake the super tube. Then, then, then this kind of solution will be spread by two parameters. One is the state mode, the other is density mode. And uh, again, there will be new BPS, BPS equation to solve. And uh, they argue if you, if you find such a solution, that is not kind of black hole entropy. Okay, that's the end. Actually, you do not have much soil, so you end the equation of solutions. Maybe it's the time or not. So you see the left hand, the left column is the the, the equations, the right column is our solution. The first one, the uh, yeah, that's the solution. Thank you.